I am Lou with another episode of My Car Story, and today we're at Amelia Island at the Concourse, and I met Tom. Tom, what's your last name? Tom Bungay. Tom Bungay. Now, what's the year, make, and model of this car? It's a 1971 Lotus Europa Series 2. Series 2, and I've got the right color shirt on for your car. So, uh, right. when did you first purchase this car? I bought this car in, in the early 80s, 82 or 83. And then you sold it? I did sell it. When did you sell it? 1988. When did you get it back? 2000. <laughs> <laughs> There's a story there. Yeah. So, let me start on the car and we'll hear the story yeah. on that. So here is our Lotus Europa, and how did it get back to you twice? Well, it was purchased at a car show in Santa Barbara, California in 1988. But let's start from the beginning. Why did you need this car in the first place? Well, I bought it because I've always been in love with Lotus cars. And why is that? That's because they've always been light, nimble, great cars to drive. And at the time, back in, in the 60s and 70s, driven by very famous racing drivers such as Jimmy Clark and uh, I was always a fan of, of the drivers who drove the Lotus racing cars you know back in the day and it is such a cool car it was always you know you didn't see a lot of them then let alone now so okay so now you, you we know why you bought it why'd you sell it I sold it because I was at a car show again in Santa Barbara California yeah and somebody came up to me and asked if the car was for sale I said no, and they just kind of made me a silly offer at the time, so I sold it, reluctantly. <laughs> and what happened? Show me something that you kept when well, you I, sold it. I, I kept a, a little badge from the West Coast Lotus Meet, again, 1988, when you Santa sold Barbara, it. when I sold it. Kept the badge thinking, someday this car is going to resurface, and I'm going to buy it back. And it did in 2000, and I bought it How did you instantly. find it back? I found it online. Oh my God. And and called the guy in Houston who owned the car, verified the, the numbers that it was the same car, and... Did you fall right. over? Oh, I fell over completely. <laughs> my, 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 my wife said I was absolutely nuts, and I said, no, honey, that's just a part of history that I need to, to I buy. need to get back. Yeah. Yep. Yep, I need to I've I need got it. Back. And look at the exhaust comes right out of here. It Notice does. we get a little... All right, let's first of all show them underneath the, the front trunk, okay. or the frunk. Now there's a little lock here. There is a lock, which I need to use the, there's one key that fits all. You gotta really kind of lean into that yeah, thing. Yeah, you do, and then there's a little stay here. Yep, that we I'll can, go here. And there's a little hole, they're all walked around. Go ahead, walk around. I'll walk around. I don't want to damage now. Is the is it fiberglass? It's all fiberglass, yes. Okay. Yep. So we've got that hole there holds that. Here's our Lotus badge there, which and I'll the, zoom in a little bit. very front, you have the, the radiator and your trunk. And this hole, what's this hole for? This is heat. Yeah, yeah. yeah I can see there's your heater blower and it blows through here and, and right, there. Right. And that's heat. The, and these vents are heat and fresh air. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay, so let's close that. And then, may I go into the interior? Absolutely. Thank you. So the doors were very, like, you could see the nice styling on the door. Very low. So you have to be a little nimble getting in. And there you've got this Lotus manufactured badge there, right in the door. Do people ever think it's a kit car? I don't think so because Lotus has really never been known for kit cars other yeah. than, than the Lotus 7 way back in the 60s. Now that brings up a good point. You said this is a Series 2, so that would indicate to me that there's a Series 1. You've got the right amount of pedals on that, by the way. Yes. Which is nice. Ah, I can hear me fall into it. That's me on the leather seats there. What, uh, so is there a Series 1? There, there is a Series 1. They built very, very few Series 1 cars. And they basically used the Series 1 as a prototype for the production run for the Series 2. Okay. So how many Series 2 did they make? Did the Blaupunk come with it or that was aftermarket? That was aftermarket, yeah. Okay. Go ahead. So well, you were saying? R roughly 2,000. And we estimate there's there's probably less than 1,000 left. And certainly very, very few in this original condition. Let's take a look under the 
under the bed. It's amazing that this car survived all this Isn't stuff. Isn't it? It really is, which is why I just had to have it back. Another little stay using the same key. That all makes sense, right? Uh-huh. And then check out our mid-engine here. Now, this is really kind of cool that it's mid-engine in 1971, correct? Uh-huh. I see the pressure test down there. See that? Now tell me about the FIFA World F1 World, World Championship. One, with Formula One in, in those years was, was very, very popular with Lotus cars and, and some famous drivers, uh, Mario Andretti and, and Emerson Filipaldi and of course yeah. Jimmy Clark earlier. But this particular car, the Series 2 car, was a joint venture between Lotus cars and Renault. So it's really Renault, it's got French components, it's got okay. a French Renault engine with the, the Lotus chassis and design. That is great. While we have this open, can we start it? No, not without the key that I All left right. in the deck. There you go. Which I can... There add. you go. One one key fits all. Yeah, I'll listen to it. We'll let it idle, uh -huh. and then uh, we'll give it one good rev. I noticed on the other side of the Series 2, we've got World Champion Car Constructor 63, 65, 68, which is a neat little badge. Well, Tom, first of all, congratulations for finding your car again. Thank you. And that must have been a great thrill, and it's now turned into an amazing story, and I can't wait to share it with people on the globe and see what they think. Well, the thrill is driving the car again. Is that right? It brings back fond memories, and it's still just a kick to drive. What's the reaction when you drive this one? First reaction usually is people don't know what it what it is. Okay. And, and they just love it because of the size, and that it's a you know kind of a fiberglass fun car. But I think uh, I think just Lotus cars, people that know Lotus cars really reacted because of its original condition. <laughs> it's great. Tom, thanks so much for being on my car story. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.